Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 10.30, July 24th, Wednesday, 75 degrees, 76 degrees, well the 24th. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. He turns 27. Does that make me old? Anyway, let's see. There we are. Batteries are still uh, doing the charge thing. So, why are you guys with me on a Wednesday morning before my nap? Now, my company didn't decide to give me retirement and I have the rest of my life off to, uh, to play with toys. That did not happen. Um, what's going on is that I've been thinking about putting um, an engine on this guy and... Uh, one of my uh, favorite YouTubers from uh, from Europe, from Britain, said, so uh, how long is it going to take you? And I started thinking about some of the stuff my wife has me booked for over the next few weeks. And I'm like, wow, it's going to take me like weeks to get back to this. And I'm like, man, I don't want to take weeks. I want to get to this real time. So then I started thinking, well, if I had an engine that was intact that I didn't have to futz around with too much, you know, like try to unseize or I'm still wondering why it won't start. You know, something uh, a little fresher than a, than a known loser, let's say. Um, it'll take a lot less time. And then I remembered that, you know, D.W. Uh, Morgan had me in this shed and I was stepping all over an engine. And one that I had him put, or a bike, and one that I've put no time in with. And just to give you an idea of no time, I don't remember where this bike came from. I don't remember buying it. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Y you know, I truly have no clue. I don't think it's a flea market special. I think it was some kind of private deal. Um, I bought the bike and in my mind, I prepared it for storage. I pulled the tires off, and I know I did it because, you know, I left the uh, the rings and the bolts on it. Um, the front tire, this is a 185, by the way. It's got no suspension, um, and it's an older 185. Um, anyway, the front tire, I think, is the one that's sitting over there. I think that makes sense. The back tires are you know, in the horde somewhere. Um, faintly, I remember the, th I, I had in my mind that this had an electrical problem and it was one of two bikes with an electrical problem. I got this bike um, before I got the, the um, DT and Melissa bike. But I, for, for the life of me, I, I just don't recall where this one came from. Um, it's, it's been around for, for, for a while, um, y you know, I guess when I go shopping my hoard, I run across things that I've, uh, I've lost and misplaced in my own mind. Anyway, um, you know, I knew that I wanted to play with all this stuff for, for forever. I, y you know, this has been a hobby of mine forever, but between working and hanging out with the kids and you, you know I spent some time back in school um, and you, you know back to work I used to travel a lot for my job I used to go to um, Japan and um, Europe uh, you, you know and, and when you travel especially an overseas trip like that you lose like a month of, of, of your life I mean you got to prepare for the trip you got to take the trip. You got to do, you know, the debriefings when you get back. You got to do all the expense accounts. You, you know, a lot of times there's additional presentation to second, third, fourth parties down the line. So, you, you know, not making excuses. I'm just basically saying, you know, sometimes uh, um, life gets in the way of doing what we want to do. Um, so... Um, luckily, I'm at the point where my kids 
I've put them both through college. They're both done. One of them even managed to get a master's and MBA. So, you, you know, their lives are now their lives. There's not a lot more I could do for them. I mean, I put them through college. I paid for their college. They don't owe anybody any money for college, you, you know. So, I mean, what else could a parent do, you, you know? Um, from here on, if I'm doing too much more, it's like I'm uh, creating bums. So uh, i got to make sure they, uh, they own their own lives. Um, anyway, so I walked up to this engine, enough philosophy for now, or walked up to this bike and I started asking myself, what kind of shape are we in? The first answer to the question is um, the wire harness has an issue. I mean, when you see people chip the end of the CDI off like that and hardwire it, that, that's normally indicative that there's some kind of wiring harness issue. And I, I remember this thing having an electrical problem. So that, that much um, did stick with me. Um, I pulled it over a few times, and the carburetor is seized, so I can't open it. I can't make the slide move. This is seized. So, But I did pull it a few times. And that sank a little bit, and I have over or around 100 psi of compression with the slide closed. So um, that's that's all good. Um, this thing had a bit of a hard life when you see the motor mounts broke like that. That's uh, both sides. That's normally indicative of somebody uh, ran this thing. It's also got some blue death and some uh, red death around the head there you go that's uh, not a great sign um, the recoil starter it seems that they stripped a bunch of the screws and uh, this is broken right off wow that there's a hole right here so yeah this thing uh, this thing's enjoyed some abuse um, I'd really like to get this thing running and put it on the 200S that I just pointed to. As I'm looking it over, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to be able to do that. Given that the slide is stuck, if I had a guess, there's another powdered carburetor, you, you know, it's got the white junk cocaine carburetor. It's full of, uh, full of aluminum dust. Um, it does have an aftermarket exhaust system on it. The exhaust pipe looks good. It does have both bolts here, both bolts there. Um, so, though it appears as if it's had a hard life, um, maybe maybe she's not completely dead. I took a couple of readings on it electrically. The CDI trigger, that's the thing up here, in here. The CDI trigger uh, had a reading of 95 ohms. I think that's good. I, I have to go check. The stator had 7.8 ohms. 7.8 ohms is uh, is not what it should be. Um, so if I were betting man, I'd say the uh, the stator is screwed. So I'm gonna have to, you know, take it apart, change the stator. While I'm at it, I might just change that guy, right? I mean, I don't like the idea of a huge hole in here. I mean. I don't know if you guys can see this, but a gaping hole. Homie don't like that. Um, the shifter looks good. It's not welded. Um, I might temporarily borrow the shift lever to put it on the other eBay quad or the other eBay 200S, the one by the garage, just to... Um, I really kind of want to finish that. I want to get the air filter on it, get that one complete and done. Uh... I've had you guys online for about nine minutes now, so i got to finish this up. Also, what's rattling around in my head is I've been thinking about um, a, a another um, kind of storage, some tarp sheds. So I've been thinking about how I can put them together and... Uh, make it so that I can store some of these things out, out of the weather and so that I can create some space inside the um, 
inside both garages. Uh, that way I could um, I can get some work done. Here's the spark plug out of it. Normally when you see a pretty new plug like that, it's normally indicative of somebody decided, you know, oh, the reason why it's not running is I might have a bad spark plug. Uh, obviously not. Yeah, given um, that the stator, I'm pretty sure the stator is basically shorted on this puppy. That's probably what its issue is. I'm going to collect up all that, all the stuff. Why folks started to take it apart and, you know, pretend to be amateur mechanics. Um, though, once again, from the looks of it, from those broken motor mounts, well, I'd say the bike had plenty of use. I think it was well run. Though, uh, from the way I treated it, it looks like in my mind I always had that it would be basically a parts bike, that it wouldn't be a, um, a runner. It doesn't even look like I tried to get it to run. So, all right, we're locked up. I don't know, we're working our way toward 11 o'clock. I'll upload this video and then uh, I'll jump into bed for a few hours of sleep before I go to work. This is a three day run, so it's a short week, so to speak, but, and there's always a but. Um, I have a birthday party to go to for my cousin. My cousin's turning 50. Uh, I hate to say he's younger than me. So um, I'm gonna be at a party uh, for him Saturday. I'm hoping to get a video out before then. Sunday will be the normal flea market stuff and uh, then we'll see what we get into next week though I, the wife I think has me booked for some stuff so next week might be a bit weak but you never know what strikes me and how things happen and you know you never know what's going to show up um, what interesting thing you know Harvey and his horde always has something cooking. I'm trying to put things away a little bit so that I can then find them. This is an example. This is a uh, stuff from a kit. It's not from a 200S kit necessarily. I think it's just from a motorcycle kit. This stuff falls to the floor. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go before I drop the camera and break it. Um, remember, um, live, love, and have a great time. Try to make a little progress on your projects every day, even if it's just buying a nut or a bolt, or going doing a quick compression check, or you, you know, just rearranging some parts or organizing your tools. If you do a little bit every day things continue to move along. You get into trouble like I got into when you buy and buy and buy and you don't touch things for years. That's that's how these huge piles came to be. I'm still buying and buying, but at least, at least I am moving forward. And uh, last but not least, remember, tires down, handlebars up, and quick parental guidance. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting.